find this group at the top of the national charts, but the rock and roll band Arrogance is perhaps the most popular band to come out of the Triangle area. For more than a decade now, they've kept local nightclubs rocking with their original tunes, most of them written by the band's guitarist Don Dixon and Robert Kirkland. Over the years, they've recorded their unusual blend of music on five albums, two of which went on national labels. You could say they came pretty close to fame and fortune, but believe it or not, after 14 years of long hours and hard work, Arrogance has decided to call it quits. You know, it's not like it got stale or anything. It's just we sort of realized that um, the industry as it is uh, couldn't handle what we had to offer, and that's just variety. Well, for Robert, it all started back in 1969, when he and Don were freshmen here at the University of North Carolina. As Don puts it, it was a time when you had a choice, go to war or go to school. He chose to go to school and make music at the same time. It was here in the Carolina Student Union that their first single was played on the jukebox. It's a place that brings back some great memories. We used to call ourselves Arrogance the Band Killers, and we, uh, we really did, didn't we? That's terrible, isn't it? It's pitiful. You know, when you're that age, it's, there's a lot of... Uh, what, the big reason we got started was to have big hit records and be famous. So we expected to actually be about 20 times more famous than we are now. Be serious. <laughs> I'm totally serious. We played our first gig in Winston-Salem in a um, wrestling rink. No, that was the first one, wasn't it? Winston-Salem in a wrestling rink and uh, with a bunch of other bands. It was great. It was wonderful. We just we were so wonderful that the band that was supposed to be the stars wouldn't go on. And they've been on stage many times since that day. Only now, arrogance has become the stars. So it's not surprising that there are mixed feelings about the breakup. Take, for instance, Marty Stout on keyboards. He joined the group right out of high school. Now, an important part of his life is about to come to an end. I've never known anything else. I've just sort of found myself in this, and uh, I have enjoyed it. So guys have been, well, it, it's been my identity. But Marty and drummer Scott Davison both agree that their time together was certainly well spent. Because look on it, it's, it's been a real good experience, a real good learning experience for me too. Um, done a lot of studio work in those years and traveled a lot and played on big stages in front of lots of people, so that was a real good learning experience. Well, as the band finishes their farewell tour in North Carolina next week, fans are packing in the nightclubs for just one last chance to see Arrogance in action. I'm going to be real disappointed when they break up because I'm a junkie. I have to come. Every time they're in Raleigh, I'm there. Like their music, Arrogance is becoming another fond memory for the thousands of people who grew up with them these past 14 years. But these guys aren't looking back, they're looking ahead to new challenges. Scott has already formed a new band. Robert's continuing to write new songs and produce records. Marty's exploring other musical options. And Don has his eye on a solo career with the possibility of producing records on a national scale. So they all agree, Arrogance was great while it lasted. But the best is yet to come. Well, some people call them the greatest rock band in the Triangle area, but Arrogance is making its last performance tonight and tomorrow night in Raleigh at the Bears Den. Catherine Walters uh, talked with them earlier this week in Chapel Hill. In her report, we close our show with an interview and with the final sounds of Arrogance. It's been a long time since the long hair days of 1970, but then Arrogance has been together for a long time, 14 years. They wrote original music at a time when there was no live music in the Triangle. They cut five albums, two that were released nationally. They opened the doors for many younger rock groups in the area. So how does that make you feel? being like the parent of, of a lot of music in this area. Holes, exactly. <laughs> and they toured the country coming close to reaching star status, but the breakthrough never really came. Yeah, it probably would have been really dangerous for us to become huge right away because, you know, 
we would we we wouldn't stop at one or two hot tubs in the backyard we'd have that, you know and a lot of people would hate us the group isn't breaking up because of any internal problems they just couldn't get a good break on a new album i personally like what we're doing now better than anything we've ever done Although it's sad arrogance is saying goodbye as a group, each member will still be around. Pianist Marty Stout wants to play quieter music. Drummer Scott Davison has started his own group, Group Patrol. And Robert Kirkland and Don Dixon, the singers and songwriters of the group, are pursuing solo careers. And after 14 years of writing your signature on the music scene in the Triangle, how would you like to be remembered? How we contributed to the, the music scene in this area. Starving artist, that's how I want to be remembered. Yeah. I'd like to be remembered as the man that eliminated nuclear weapons from the face of the earth. All right. But I know I won't. I used to have hair, right? And I'd sort of like to be remembered with hair, if you could try.